It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Along the shores of Lake Erie, the dog town already in full war. We welcome you to Huntington Bank Field here in downtown Cleveland. Good to be with you. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we've been around for a minute, as the kids like to say. I called your games. There are guys who you played with back in your day who are now the veteran players in the league. And we got a couple of veterans here at quarterback. What a difference it makes for a team when they come in with a guy who knows what he's doing back at quarterback. Oh, and it really does. And remember, Mike, the only way to gain experience is to gain experience. There's no magic formula. You've got to be in the fire, make mistakes, make great plays, learning lessons. The more you see, the better you get. And no position is that more magnified than in the NFL at the quarterback position. So the fact that these guys have played so many games, so many seasons, they've seen so much, that's a huge advantage for each of these teams. Now the question is, in today's matchup, who comes out on top? Who come across the 20 and taken down at the 21-yard line? The Cleveland offense set to take the field for the first time. They'll be led out by the former number one overall pick back in the 2015 draft, former Heisman winner as well, Jameis Winston. We're talking about a true gunslinger, Mike. I mean, this brings us back to the Brett Favre days. Every time this guy lets it loose, you're not sure which team's going to end up with it, but it's going to be exciting. There are times where you got to hold your breath, and let's not forget, this guy was the first overall pick for a reason. He's got the arm talent. That's undeniable. When he's playing well, his teams have a chance. He needs to eliminate some of the negatives because when he's on, man, he is fun to watch. They face second down and seven. Now here's a keeper on the zone read. And he'll get this up to about the 28. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Here's a third down and four. To throw is Winston. Now sets up a screen for Chuck. And he's going to be out of bounds with a gain of seven. That'll be enough for a first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Down the sideline, past the 45. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. Well, how about that for a statement on your opening drive, Mike? I mean, we knew coming in that they wanted to get this run game going, but man, boy, did they ever. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. Quick throw taken in by Judy. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. A big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. That's an area where usually this play gets erased. That's on the former All-Pro, Jack Pumpkin. Play action. It's Winston. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush. He 
goes down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Seventh play of this opening drive, and here's third down. From the gun, Winston. That's taken in by Chubb. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Justin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This one from 52 yards away. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns are out to an early 3-0 lead. And that's a good drive right out of the gate. They're able to make some plays, move the ball down the field. I know they didn't get a touchdown, but that is a good positive result. points on that opening drive we'll see the response as the kicks away on the return here comes Cordero Patterson and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Steelers led out by their quarterback Russell Wilson still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade couple of years with the Broncos and now Greg the nine-time pro bowler year one in Pittsburgh at one point, this guy was one of the top superstars in the entire league, and I don't think he's fallen as far from that as people want to imagine. This is still a winning quarterback in the NFL, and historically, what's been a very dynamic dual-threat approach in his game has turned to more of a passing style as he's gotten older. But if he puts together one of those vintage performances we've seen over the years, he's going to be a hard one to beat. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Wilson. That's made by Pickens. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Here's second and three to go. Play action. Now, Wilson. No chance at all. He'll go down. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over him. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Out of the gun, here's Russ. That one on target to Williams. He's got it. That's well done as they get the conversion on third and 13. 
These third down conversions are just so important. Mike, everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. There's a short one, caught by Fryman. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. That's crossed by the tight end, Darnell Washington. 13 yards the game, down to the 13-yard line. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. Now a first carry for the Alabama product, Najee Harris. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver. Now it's going to be third down. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. That's hauled in at the two. He'll get out of bounds, a gain of eight, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. What an impressive drive this has really been, and it's a combination of big plays and third down conversions. Now after that last third down pickup, it's first and goal. They got a chance to finish this really impressive drive and come away with six. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, if they put the fishing touches on, it's first and goal. He's got his man in the middle of the end zone. George Pickens. Touchdown, Steelers. It seems to me they were kind of holding this play call for this exact situation, Mike. First and goal down here near the goal line, and they had this one worked up all week. Simple pitch and catch, and it works to perfection. Chris Boswell on for the point after. He gets it to go, and the Steelers move out to a 7-3 lead. second time they trail by four a touchdown gives them the lead drive begins with first and ten Winston. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku.
Here's a second and three forthcoming. A run up the middle with Chubb. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. And a nice pick up there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. What we're seeing here in this first half, Mike, is an example of the offensive line, the running back, and the play caller all on the same page. The execution and the ability to continue to pick up chunk plays on the ground has been a great start for this offense. Once again, it's Chuck. And it'll be brought down right around the 40. Make up Fitzpatrick up to make the stop. Here's a second and six. On play action, Winston. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. Back to the open man, and it's Tillman. And a Lucas ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Winston to throw. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Second and seven. Now Chuck. Just pushing defenders out of the way as he surges forward for a gain of about five. Looking to keep a promising drive alive. It is third and a yard. To throw, here's Winston. To the goal line and in. Gary Judy. Touchdown, Browns. Now remember back, Mike, their first drive, they had to settle for three. So they definitely didn't want to have to do that again. So really solid drive from start to end. And they're finally able to cap it off with a touchdown. Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. It's up and through. The Browns are on top. It's now 10 to 7. Hopkins now after the touchdown he'll boot this one away Patterson now to return it 
He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Steelers offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. to start the drive and a nice run there he'll be stopped just shy of a first down a pickup of nine it's not just the blockers creating yards from out there he created most of that yardage on his own shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield an enviable spot to operate from here's second in inches Austin brought in motion they run on the jet sweep and he'll work forward for a yard, but that's all he needed. This is going to be a first down. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. 10-7 is the score. And we're back to Cleveland in a minute. They come up on first and ten. Play action. It's Wilson. Under pressure and down he goes. They go. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll run the draw with Warren. And some good blocking at the point of attack. A pickup of seven, and it brings up third down. Wilson. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. Hines down. The all pro. There to bring him down. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of them. Here's the replacement for Cameron Johnston. Corliss Waitman on to punt. Jalen Darden deep for Cleveland. Fair catch called and made right there at the 25-yard line. Nick Chubb and the rest of the Browns offense set to take over again. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half, putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. On the ground, it's Chubb to start this drop. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Peyton Wilson that time in on the stop. They bring Judy in motion. On the handoff, this is Chubb. And they'll bring this to about the 34-yard line. Patrick Queen, the linebacker. They're on the tack. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside.
They'll come up to third and three. They'll try to run it here, and it's Chubb. And he's going to have a Browns first down as he gets this up to the 42. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Winston to throw on first down. A throw left side, but it's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws, and when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. They'll stay on the ground with Chuck. We'll take this forward, maybe two, three yards, but doesn't matter. We have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. Second down throw for Jameis. Left side, he's got the Joku. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. From the gun on third down. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Third and real long. This is where your defensive line has to come to life. They decided to keep extra blockers in the backfield, but it didn't matter. They were able to bring him down for a sack and brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, the lefty Corey Bohorquez to punt for Cleveland. Calvin Austin deep for the Steelers. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Steelers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. take this forward for about three. It's second down. Wilson. He finds Austin with the ground. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll come up now for second down and four. They'll give it to Harris again. And he'll get this close to the first down. It's a pickup of four, but it still leaves third and short. Here's Wilson. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to 
to the other side of midfield. This is the epitome of team defense. Not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play, but the coverage on the back end is so tight. There's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. You see him just continue to hold the ball that extra second in the pocket. And with the way these guys are pass rushing, that's all the time they need. Here's Corliss Waitman now. The punt for the second time, looking to pin the opponent back deep. And how about that play on special teams? Perfectly done. It checks up right at the one-yard line. Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. They'll need to get something positive going right away here. Ball starts inside their own one-yard line. First and ten. They'll start on the ground with Chubb. Trying to shove his way forward but brought down after a gain of a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's a handoff to Chubb. Mm. It's a gain of 10 yards. It's a Browns first down. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half. And I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. They bring Judy in motion. Here comes the jet sweep. Not a whole lot happening there. Just a short pickup. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Off the play fake, it's Jameis. Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. This defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Winston looking to throw. And that pressure too great. He's going to be sacked in the end zone. And that is a safety. So first the decision to throw down here backed up near your own goal line. And the defense gets to the quarterback, sacking him, Greg, in the end zone for a safety. Mike, anytime you're willing to call a pass backed up this deep in your side of the field, you have to trust that your quarterback is going to have the clock in his head to get the ball out of his hand. In this case, he holds on to it too long. The defense is able to get to him in the end zone, and it results in the safety. So after giving up the lead with that safety, they're also going to give up the football. It's a free kick from the 20. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. The deficit is one, as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. They'll come up here first. And ten. This drive begins with a run by Harris. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. to throw. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. 
They can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. He'll air it out down the middle. He's got it! And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Now Wilson on first down. This one complete to Washington. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Here's second and two. A give, and here comes Harris. And the Steelers are going to have what looks to be a first and goal. He'll take this down to the 10-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. So here's a chance to take the lead going into the locker room. It's first and goal. Now Russ. That's to the end zone, but they can't get it. It's incomplete. I can tell you from experience, Mike, that is going to be on his mind the rest of the week. It's one thing to drop a ball. That's going to happen every now and then. But when you do it, it takes away a touchdown. Man, that stings. So we can talk short-term memory all we want. I can promise you, this guy, he's hoping to get another shot at it. That is caught. And he's in. Pat Fryer move. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm, mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Boswell now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Steelers will open up a six-point lead. Boswell now following the touchdown. Back out to kick this one off. Now return coming from the seven. And the bring down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Browns offense and their star running back, Nick Chubb, set to take over once more. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the gun, Winston. He brings it in, the tight end with Joku. And a mark him down just shy of the 40. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half, and just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Throwing, Jameis. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his draft, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. 
So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a best play call. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here, and they're going to chance to talk things over after picking up that first half. to throw. Winston. He finds Judy on that one. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Now Winston. There's a short throw caught by the Joku. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. It's Winston. It's the tight end, Najuku. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. I know, I know, I'm biased. But listen, you can't convince me, Mike, that there's a better option on the field, especially when you got a guy like this, than on third down or critical moments. That's where the ball needs to go. The size, the speed, the matchup problems that he creates. If I was in a critical situation, there is no doubt where I'm going with the ball. On first down, it's Winston. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. On play action, Winston. And that's going to be incomplete, but a flag down in the backfield. That's the area we usually see holding. They get the former number 10 overall pick, Jedrick Wills. A second down throw for Winston. He's got it in the hands of Elijah Moore. This has been bizarre. From second in a mile, a huge game, but still short of a first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike, how well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. Justin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This one will be from 37 yards out. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Browns will cut the lead from six down to three. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So he'll take over at the 30-yard line. A 
a fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Back to throw. Wilson. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Mike, we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports studios and our halftime report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we come out with a hot hand in the second half. About to get started. Three points, all that separates these two sides as half number two kicks off. Patterson now to return it. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense going to have the first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Wilson. He's got his man. It's Pickens. And what an effort after the hit. He goes all the way. 85 yards. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. For the extra point is Boswell. His kick is good. And the Steelers will extend this third quarter lead. Strong on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position 
to start this drop. The Browns offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and then some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast, and right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. He's going to let this one go deep. That'll be found away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion, but can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air, and... I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. And it'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. Well, that right there, Mike, is your once a game reminder of just the importance of short tackling. This run never gets anywhere near where it ends up if that initial hit was stronger and he was able to take him down. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Chubb. And he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Deshaun Elliott on the tackle. A second down throw for Jameis. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. Out of the gun, it's Winston. He'll try to run for it. Good decision to take off. He gets 15 yards and a first down. And that just can't happen third and long just understand contain the ball rally tackle just get the ball carrier on the ground not only not able to get to him inside the pocket he's able to extend the play with his legs and pick up a huge long first down it's a jet sweep and it's judy and he's going to be taken down but not until he reaches the 20 yard line zone read they hand it to Chubb and he surges forward for a gain of about five they'll break the huddle it's second and five to throw is Winston left side Joku. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, 
see some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. And that is not going to work out as planned. Maybe a tough spot to try to run a play like that. Either way, it's blown up back behind the line of scrimmage. Now from the nine, it'll be second and goal. They'll run it straight ahead with Chip. He'll take this one down to the eight-yard line. Third and goal. Winston to throw. Taking off. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Jameis Winston. Touchdown, Cleveland. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. Now Hopkins on to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Browns are back within a field goal. The lead is three. Here's Hopkins now after the touchdown. He'll boot this one away. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Steelers offense and Russell Wilson set to take over on four. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Harris. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Here's a second and six. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. That's caught. Right side, it's Fireman. And he'll fight forward for a couple of yards, but a flag is down, and the linemen are already walking back. Throwing is Wilson. This one grabbed by Austin. And a knock him down just shy of the 40. Every defense in the league, Mike, they stress the importance of defending the middle of the field. And in this case, that's just too much room to operate. They have to find a way to close and cloudy up those windows, make the quarterback throw the ball to the sidelines. When you allow him to operate in there, especially with that much space, you're going to make for a long day. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he will get down here as he wisely avoids the contact. 
A great job of knowing when to go. He gets 17 yards on that run and a first down. Mike, this is great awareness by the quarterback manipulating the pocket. He feels the pressure coming on around him, but so often the soft spot is moving up in the pocket. That's exactly what he does. Takes off down the middle of the field, picks up good yardage, and a first down. Second down and eight. His defense up to the task there. Game of just two, and it's third down. Play action. Now, we'll see. This is intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. his guys a short field to work with and a chance to take the lead it's not often Mike that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception but boy is it beautiful when it does I mean look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers trying to spring their guy to the house great athleticism some great moves on his part I mean he's gonna have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position the Browns offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They'll start with a golden opportunity here to move out in front. Great field position to start out. It's first and ten. They bring Judy in motion. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old-school line-up and run smash-mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Once again, it's Chuck. A determined run there. He gets about seven yards inside the 10 yard line. Here's second and three to go. They bring Judy in motion. They run on the jet sweep. Here's third down and a few inches. To throw, here's Winston. He's going to have a Browns first down. Able to get about three that time on third and inches. Those plays are killers for a defense. You think you have the quarterback hemmed in. You think you have a chance for your pass rush to get you off the field. Instead, he gets away, picks up some tough yards, and sets his team up first and goal. Here's Chuck. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. He'll take him down at the three-yard line. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. One more time, it's Chubb. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. 
They'll run with Cup. And he will dive into the end zone. Nick Chubb. Touchdown, Browns. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go. And that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike. And now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Extra point up and good from Hopkins. And the Browns have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Patterson now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's first and ten. Now it's Wilson. That's brought in right side by Pickens. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. So they'll get about four here as he is taken down. So often for a defense defending the passing game, the most difficult guy to account for is the running back out of the backfield. So a really nice job here bringing him down before he has a chance to pick up any yards after the catch. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll be stopped at the line of spirits with a flag down. Let's check on the call. As they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The home team's offense and their running back set to go once more. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Winston looking to throw. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards.
Here's a second and three forthcoming. Off the play fake, it's Jameis. And he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. Big time opportune sack there by the defense. Mike, they're right on the cusp of field goal range. You can't allow this to become a two possession ball game here in the fourth quarter. Massive third down coming up here. See if they can get off the field and get the ball back to their offense. That'll be taken in by Moore. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working this clock. Winston to throw on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. There's that man again. Another catch. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super concerned. Just hand off right, hand off left. And it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Throwing on second down, Winston. He'll get that complete to the tight end, Njoku. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Third and five. Winston. Now sets up a screen for Chuck. Good-looking screenplay there. A gain of 11 and a first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense. You don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock, but the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. Running is Chubb. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. First and 10. Now Chuck. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. From the gun, Winston. Open man, and that's Tillman. They get about six before he's taken down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook and 
So far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. On first down, it's Winston. A throw, right side, taken by Najoku. How about four catches on this drive alone? Time to change the defense. This one gets him another first down. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. Let's see if they can put this one out of reach. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Nick Chubb. Touchdown, Cleveland. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Here's Hopkins now after the touchdown. He'll boot this one away. Patterson now to return it. And he stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. George Pickens and the Steelers offense heading back onto the field. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Out of the gun, here's Russ. And this will be knocked out. Incomplete. Penalty flag down in the backfield. Usually a sign of a hole. Here's a screen set up for Warren. And that'll help a bit. They're still well short of the sticks. A solid pickup on that first down play. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. And the shotgun. Wilson. Here's a third and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. He'll let this go for picking. And penalty flags come in as it winds up incomplete, but no doubt there was contact there. The crowd does not agree with that call. Booze ring out. Doesn't matter, not gonna change it. It's a first down. Wilson. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he will score. Game on. Mike Williams. Touchdown, Steelers. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. 
gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Important one here now for the Steelers. They're going to try to go for the two-point conversion. two-point conversion is successful and game on lead is down to three here in the fourth quarter This is strong. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. A couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's Jameis. On the quick slam, that's Judy. And he'll be brought down up around the 38 yard line. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Here's a handoff to Chubb. And he'll work his way past the 40. He's tackled after a game of four. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, here's second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Chuck. A big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. And that's in an area where usually this play gets erased. third and long they'll go with Chubb He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. The Browns getting their punting team out there. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The visitor's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. 
Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Here is first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Now he takes off. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions. And he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there. Picks up some good yardage and gets down on the ground. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. This one grabbed by Austin. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Wilson to throw. Get this complete. It's Williams over the middle. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They go play action now. Wilson. set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Pressure time. No timeouts to stop the clock as they get set here for a big first down. Again, Wilson. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. this kicker's head he knows if he misses it this game's over but he's cool he's calm he steps up takes a deep breath and he knocks it through to extend this game so not much time remaining to get something started all tied here late fourth as the kickoff comes come up for first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Winston. His receiver on the impact is done. Now we're going to time out Cleveland. That's their second. And they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's first down. Off the play fake, it's Jameis. 
Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. Now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. On second and long. Second down throw for Jameis. Looking deep here for Tillman. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. comes Dustin Hopkins in a pressure situation. This to win the game. This kick is good. And it's celebration time. A walk-off victory on the game's final play. So to win for the Browns, they get themselves at the field goal range for one final shot. Kicker delivers. They avoid overtime and come away three-point victory.